All right, guys, what's going on? Well, it's the end of the year. It's that time where everyone is spending ridiculous amounts of money and buying crap we don't need. And we figured this might be a good time to talk about some things that, while you might not need them, they're pretty good gift ideas for those of you, those of the people in your family that are outdoorsy types and love the outdoors. Um, things we use, things we've tested, things that we really like. And we figured we'd share them, link them down below. And if you're kind of in a bind trying to figure out what to get for that last minute outdoorsy person in your life, maybe this will be helpful. So we'll jump into it. All right. So first one for me, uh, believe it or not, is the uh, the Yeti bucket. Um, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to show you guys because we have it sitting on here right now. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so for me, I know a lot of people are like, man, you know, that's a lot of money for a five-gallon bucket. But as you can see... I mean, I, I use this thing for all kinds. I've got all kinds of gear in here, all kinds of gear in the bottom. And I take this thing with me everywhere. I mean, it's got everything. First aid kit, hand warmers, paracord, I like knives, stakes. I mean, and the best part about it is it's a seat, yes. you know? And so I can take this, you know, pretty much just about anywhere. Um, I decked it out. I went with the... The interior, organizational, and then as well as the, the tool belt on the outside. Um, you know, I keep everything from sunscreen to um, handheld radios. I, I mean, I literally, that bucket is like, I kind of call it my bug out bucket because it has everything. That thing is something that I've seen you use a hundred times. And I've always said that I wish I had it and I still haven't gotten it, but I should add it to my own list. So for me, my next item it's something I've spoke about on the podcast, which if you haven't listened to it, you can find the Off Grid Essential Podcast anywhere you get your podcast right now. But that is this 12-volt electric blanket. Now, this blanket, it's not big. It's not fancy. It doesn't even get super hot. But what it does do, it does well. And that is you put this close to your body. You put it inside your sleeping bag. You put it inside your jacket. doesn't matter. You run into a jackery or somewhere in your vehicle on a 12 volt plug because it does run off a standard 12 volt plug. And this little bad boy draws hardly any power. I can hook it up to a jackery 240, which is one of the smallest jackeries they have. And I can run this heated blanket in my sleeping bag 12, almost 12 hours and have solid warmth the entire night. It's like a $20 item. It's something, even if you don't winter camp, you can keep in your vehicle for, for a scenario that you weren't prepared for. Um, or camping, it works perfectly in that scenario too. So whether you run this to your vehicle's power or a power bank when you're camping, this little blanket is top notch. I love it. I got it from Walmart or Amazon. I can't even remember. I will find the, the link to it and put it in the description. But this 12 volt blanket was one of my best buys in the last two years. Yeah, I mean, there's three things that I, or sorry, four things that I always keep in my truck. That blanket, my, uh, um, my shovel, I have a, a utility shovel. I keep a, a, an ax and then my first aid kit. Those four items are always in my truck. And that thing, you know, I don't have heated seats in my truck. And so like for the kids, if we're traveling or something, um, I'll actually pull it out and lay it, lay it over their, their laps while they're, while they're taking a, uh, a nap or something, right. And plug it in into the 12 volt in the back and turn it on and they get a little bit of warmth without, you know, having to uh, bring a bunch of blankets inside, inside the cab. So uh, yeah, dude, I, I totally agree with Mike. That thing is a game changer. Speaking of axes, but my good, my good buddy, Mike here. So I've been wanting a ax now for a while and, you know, I've just kind of been putting it off just because I have other tools. Um, but this has been this, I had made a promise to myself that no matter what this year I was going to get one. Well, Mike came through and got me this bad boy, S-Wing. It is American made. And I don't want to take it out of this thing because, uh, you know, we both cut ourselves. <laughs> we literally both cut ourselves yeah. trying to put it away. It's super sharp. But once again, right, this is the kind of tool that can be used for so many different things. Um, you know, it, you need to put stakes in the ground. You can use the back of it. If there was one thing that I would say... I wish they would have did a little better job on. It was the cover for the actual axe portion because you have to like run the if you, run the handle through and it it gets a little sketch. But as you can see right here, it's got a little notch cut out. That's for pulling out stakes. 
but you know you got the back end flat hammering. end here for hammering down in and then of course you know razor sharp razor sharp edge here for for breaking down wood or, or whatever purposes that you may need it for so um you know great tool i'm glad it's going to take up ex you know very little space underneath my seat um in my truck and so yeah super certain, happy certain tools for for any outdoorsy type are just timeless will always be useful and will always come in handy and a camp hatchet or a camp axe is just one of those items you can't go wrong with yeah i agree concur look at that dude got it in, got it in without cutting ourselves without cutting that's ourselves. a win all right so the next item is a bit of a controversial one i've talked about this item many times in the past and in the comments people usually light me up saying my god that camp chair is you know two three hundred dollars and they're right now I can tell you I've bought cheap camp chairs in the past. I've owned several Walmart camp chairs and many of them do the trick and they will last you a couple years. They're, they're no big deal. But CJ put me on to this Nemo Stargazer and I'm not gonna break it out for obvious reasons, but you can see the picture of how it is. You can rock in this, you can swing in this, you can literally stargaze in this thing. Um, you put a bucket or a Yeti in front of you, kick your feet up and you can just lay back and go to sleep or stare at the sky. Um, or sit up and swing and talk to your friends at the campsite. It's just a super comfortable and most importantly, very well-made camp chair. Um, the pro the materials they use, the finishes they use. Um, I mean, just the, the frame, right? The frame is so sturdy. Yeah, it's a yeah. powder-coated frame. It's not a plastic. It so doesn't have sturdy. plastic end caps like you get with a big box store chair. Um, they just did a really good job making it. I don't see why this couldn't last me 20 years. And fortunately, with Nemo, you have lifetime warranties. Yeah. So if you do invest that $200 and get the chair and you have that concern that maybe it won't last, there's a lifetime warranty with these Nemo chairs. And in general, your camp chair is kind of important. You don't want something in the evenings you're going to spend two, three hours sitting around a fire with your buddies talking and it's uncomfortable or it's hurting your back. It's just if you go with a good one from the first time and, and you work with it, you'll see that this is a chair that after you get over the cost, you'll be thankful you bought it. Yeah, I mean – I would say that it's so universal that it's not even just for camping. No, I use this. You put that thing in your backyard while you're sitting around a campfire, you know, in your backyard. You can put it in a sunroom if you want to lay back and read a book. I, I take mean, this to my kids' sporting yeah. events. Like yes. my, my kids had soccer this past season and I would take it. And I would hear other parents be like, oh, his swings. Look at that one. I would hear yeah. the comments. So oh, yeah. it's not just because it's well-made and, and, and fun to use, but – it's a camp chair that you'll get comments on. People are like, dang, man, that's a heck of a camp chair. Now, granted, it's big, it's bulky when you set it up, and it does have a look to it that's a little different than most camp chairs. Um, again, I'll show that picture. But I just love this camp chair. Nemo doesn't know who I am. They don't care that I'm talking about it. Sure. I have no reason to talk about it other than the fact that I actually like it. Yeah, I mean, listen, for all you swim parents out there, you know when you go to a swim meet and you're there for hours, um, I've personally... Uh, pop this thing open my daughter you know in between her events been able to just kind of lay back relax kick her feet up um you know that's that's my hangout chair so yeah i, I would agree all right so the next item and this one's mike is mike's wearing uh, and i actually uh, i'm going to take a little credit for this because i turned him on to this yeah. uh and of course i'm sure we'll, we'll get some comments out there about it but uh this is the lululemon Addie's hoodie i own two now wait before yeah. you Flip out that it said Lululemon. Yeah. When he told me he had this hoodie and he said, I asked him about it. He said, oh, it's this great hoodie. It's lightweight. It, it works well in warmer or cooler climates. It doesn't, it's not too much of anything. I said, Lululemon, bro? What are you doing yeah. buying Lululemon? Yeah. And I wrote it off. I clowned him and, and, and let it go. And then they got me one. And I'm telling you guys, I freaking love this hoodie. It's comfortable. It's the perfect weight. It's the perfect warmth level. It's durable. It's well-made. I know I'm saying that a lot, but it is. It's all of those things. So I'll let you finish, but I yeah. really do love this. And, and here's the thing about Lululemon, too, that most people don't know this, is uh, they have kind of a semi-lifetime warranty on their products. So if, if, you know, if you have any defects or whatever, you can submit a warranty claim uh, through them and just kind of show them. But this specific hoodie, listen, I'm a skinny guy. I've owned a lot of Lululemon clothes because they fit really well and their quality. Um, this is by far my favorite product that they've ever made for, for men. Um, Put it this way. I clowned him when I found out about this. I got one and I liked it. I now have three in three different colors. <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah. I have a hard time going and buying just a standard 
cotton hoodie now. Yeah. They're, they don't they they don't compare. So if you want something that layers well, feels great, fits well, it's a great hoodie. That you can also use for multiple purposes. Hiking, yes. you know, working out, just casual wear, lounge yeah. wear. I mean, I'm telling you, this thing is it. And I, I get it. Right. Look, we're not that fancy. This is we're the Costco that, flannel. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm wearing a $14 right. Costco Costco flannel over, ironically, a little, another little <laughs> lemon hoodie. But you know, I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, for me, I, I don't have a whole lot of clothes in my closet. So what I do have are things that um, I'm willing to spend a little bit of money on because I know that I'm going to have them for a long time, uh, and and that are like just kind of like those those priceless items. And this sweater, I promise you, is one of those. He's not lying. It's a great sweater. All right. Since we're working on clothes, specifically mine, this item is a great stocking stuffer, a last minute gift. You can grab it at any, most big box sporting stores, REI, Shields, uh, Bass Pro, wherever, whatever you go to. Heck, most, most stores that have a decent footwear section will have these socks. And that is these darn tough um, merino wool socks. So wool, as we all know, is a great outdoor uh, clothing material. It breathes well, it retains heat well, um, it dries. It, it just, it does a lot of good things. And these socks are super durable. Again, a company out of Vermont that offers a lifetime warranty. Um, not affiliated with any of these products, guys. These are just things we literally use and we literally yeah. like. So um, darn tough socks. They're awesome camping and hiking and everyday winter socks. They do a really good job. They're comfortable. They wick away any feet sweat you might have going on, and they keep your feet dry, cozy, warm. I mean, you can't ask for much more. You can go buy some cotton socks that are that are you know calf width and or calf height, and they say they're good and warm, but they're not going to compare with a good wool sock. And darn tough socks makes an excellent excellent outdoor sock. Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, I I kind of bounce between darn tough and smart wools, but uh, I also have uh, darn tough for my uniform. Uh, I wear darn tough socks, uh, you know, quite frequently there and, and, they, and he's right. They're great. They're another top notch quality product. And of course, backed by lifetime warranty, mm -hmm. which for me is important. And Oh, by the way, they're American made. So, um, yeah. you know, that's another huge win. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my, this is my personal, uh, camp kitchen setup, uh, from GSI. And I'll start with the actual, um, this is the, okay, sorry, I, I wanted to make sure I got the name right. This is the GSI Outdoors Pinnacle Camper Cook Set. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I do not have the bowls anymore. They come with like these little I drink the cups in these like little bowls. Um, I personally... I didn't like them. I don't even really like the plates because they're just like, just kind of, in my opinion, like some chinzy plastic. But the main thing that you get with this setup is what makes it so unique. Okay, so the top of here, right? Just your normal, traditional uh, 10 inch um, pan. Of course, you've got two lids. Let me get this one out. And the really cool thing about the, the larger lid is it has these little ports right here. So if you like you're boiling pasta or something and you have the lid on, you can easily just uh, pour the water out without having to worry about pouring it in a strainer, right? It acts as that strainer as itself. Of course, you have another lid, same thing. It has that same kind of uh, uh, strainer port. So if you're you know, wanting to cook pasta. Now, I winded up kind of getting rid of the, the bowls and stuff because I keep salt and pepper shakers in there. But then, of course, it comes with this really cool handle for all the other things. Just, and then this handle adapts to all the cookware in the All kit. of it, right? So you've got, so it comes with two pots. So here's your, here's your two pots, right? And these have a nice Teflon nonstick coating to yep. them. Yeah, and all this does is this just slides right in. Boom, and there you go. And, you can, and it's super easily transferable. You just down. So I've got three awesome pots and then guess what this little carrying case that it all goes in is actually a wash bucket so if you wanted to bring handy. soap and water you know right here you clean them up dry everything out and then just uh, put it all back in inside of itself um this thing we actually just used this on our winter camping trip yes. that we just that did. video i posted yesterday if you haven't checked it i'll link it right now um, we went camping in five degrees with a hundred dollar walmart canopy tent 
mm. which is not smart, but it worked out well. But as you can see, I mean, it's literally, oops, I almost forgot to put it this way. Um, it is so easy to carry with you, and it takes up so little space, but yet packs such a big punch. And for me personally, um, I eat out of, we just, I just eat out of the actual pan or comes with, but I mean, as you can see, this thing is a game changer. I actually bought this uh, specifically for when I had my Escapod Topo teardrop outdoor trailer um, and worked really, really well in the two burner stove I had there. But I've used this on two burner stoves. I cooked with over it fire. over fire um, and you know, yeah, game changer. Whether you camp or are. whether you RV, doesn't matter. I, are, I literally travel full time um, as part of what I do. And when CJ got that GSI kit, I thought, oh, okay, that's cool or whatever. And then as we camped more often and we traveled more often, I realized just how convenient that collapsible kit was and it's super high quality, durable material. Um, so I went ahead and bought one as well. I use it in my RV every single day. It's how I cook my meals. It cleans up good. Should we park the RV and go tent camping like we did the other day? I still take that kit with me. Yeah. It works every time. So, But I mean, you know, outside of that, guys, um, when it comes to just – Camping in general, you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on gear. Um, if you just kind of, you know, it really doesn't take much, man, to get out there and, and overland, camp, whatever you want to call it. You know, Mike and I literally last weekend went out in single digit temperatures in an Ozark trail, sun canopy. Walmart special, baby. With a enclosure. Now, to be fair, we did have my Nemo Roamer sleeping pads, which, by the way. We should have put that on the list, to be honest. Pretty, pretty amazing. But we also had heated blankets. We had, we had, we each had our own, our own little car heating blanket, right, that we got from Walmart. Uh, he has the Jackery. I have a Goal Zero 200. Uh, which I'll be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of. I got it in a garage REI um, sale, and now I know why I got it in a garage REI sale. If you want, I'll post a video. I'll tag a video. But uh, I put his Goal Zero and my Jackery up head to head on the same night in the same weather, same blankets, and the Jackery definitely outperformed. But nonetheless, yeah. if you have a portable power bank, you can run those blankets easily. Run them. The point of the, the point of what we're trying to make is. You know, you don't need a whole bunch of fancy gear to get out there and enjoy the outdoors, even in a cold environment. Um, you know, tomatoes, 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 whatever, whatever your preference is. But, uh, you know, these people that are going out and spending. Half these items we showed, like the darn tough socks, the car camping blanket, the cutlery set. I mean, these are all sub 50 to to $100. These are not yeah. super expensive things, but they're very useful. They're well made and they get the job done every time. I'll link all these down below if you guys are looking for a last minute thing. Um, even if you don't use the links down below, look, you can get almost all of these things at your local REI, um, outdoorsy stores, have most of these items. Um, and if you've got that outdoorsy person in your life and you don't really know what to get them this camp, this Christmas season, hopefully this gave you a couple ideas. <laughs> all right. All right later, guys.